Okay, so now that you have the flour tortillas and you ask me what else can I do with a flour tortilla, I'm gonna show you the easiest and most common dish to make with flour tortillas. It's called a synchronizada. Yeah, it means synchronized. Why? I don't know. But these are the ingredients you need, okay? You are gonna need your flour tortillas, some kind of ham. In this case, I'm using uh, some um, country ham here from North Carolina. Obviously cheese. I have some of those um, cured cactus and butter. Okay? And you're gonna need a very hot piece of metal. So we start with our flour tortilla. Obviously, I'm gonna put some cheese. Not a lot, but just enough. And then I'm gonna take my ham. You could use bacon, chorizo, regular ham, hot dogs even. Yeah. It's, it's just to make it more uh, of a protein type of thing. But anyways, this is something that you eat when you're hungry. So now I'm gonna take some of my cactus and put them in there. That's gonna add me some crunch. There you go, just like that. And then, the second part, I'm gonna take the other flour up here and put it on the top. Butter. Now, I'm gonna flip it over. Before I flip it over, obviously you have to, you have to put more butter. So, flip it over. And my secret thing is I take some of the cheese and I'll put it outside. But why are you putting the cheese outside, you last? Well, you'll wait until. Even though it's not super crispy or crunchy on the other side, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip it over again. And then, once again, a little cheesy on top. But why? Why are you putting the cheese outside? Well, again, just right. So here comes magic. Again, I'm gonna flip it over one more time. Look at this. Look at this crunchy, crispy, gooey, cheesy, it's actually a synchronous setup, but whatever. So now it's finished. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a mascarpone or sour cream. In this case, I didn't have sour cream, I only have mascarpone, so I'm putting that shit. Then we have some cotija, cotija cheese. Again, with my polish. Just like that. And obviously, the most important thing cilantro. Now that it's like that, I go. So now, I'm actually gonna eat it. You see how the cheese on the outside makes a whole difference. So this is, you know, for you lingos, this is a perfect quesadilla. Quesadilla. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.